welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day in the life um a lot of you guys have been asking me to do more daycare content and i have a lot of stuff to do this week um today in particular so i figured it was a good day to um take you guys with me and show y'all a little bit more of what i do um, I have to do inventory today, so I'm going to take y'all with me to do that. I know I showed y'all that last time, but I have to do that again, so I might as well take y'all with me. I also have to get all the paperwork ready to get ready to file our taxes. And um, I also wanted to show y'all how I create um, lesson plans for our classrooms because a lot of people always ask me about that. So I'm going to... Um, I do it on my laptop, so I'm going to try to airdrop it to my phone so I can screen record it because I don't know how to screen record from my uh, MacBook. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I do that. Um, I'm on my way to the daycare now. I just stopped at Starbucks and got my um, my little drink. I'm mad I could only go to Starbucks really in the morning because I can't try all those drinks that everybody always tells me to try because I can't drink cold stuff in the morning like I have to have. <clears throat> something hot first yeah I have to have something hot first so yeah I got uh, um, the toasted almond milk drink but I get it hot it's called something else I just always ask for the toasted almond milk and then I have them um, make it the hot version I normally get the chestnut praline latte but they just told me it was discontinued I guess it's like a seasonal drink but that's the one that I normally get so I had to like hurry up and figure something else out but yeah, I'm on my way there now. Um, I didn't make like coffee in the morning or um, take Chloe out this morning or anything because I slept in a little bit. So, so yeah, that's why I got my Starbucks on the way. And I also have my breakfast. I just have some fruit and I have a protein drink because I started back in the gym yesterday. So I'm going to try to stick to that because it's getting ready to be the spring. And I still got a good amount of time before the summer gets here. And I'm really trying to like... I'm not really trying to lose weight, but I'm trying to tone up. My arms are a little bit, like, um, thicker than I would like them to be. So, if anything, I probably want to drop, like, 10 and tone up. So, yeah, I started working back out yesterday. And um, I have my juices and stuff with me. I'll show y'all what I got. So, I got my green juice. And then I have a protein shake for this morning and tomorrow morning. And then I got, like some fruit and some oranges and stuff like that for me and Vince. And yeah, for lunch I'll probably get sweet green or something like that. So yeah, I'm um, on my way there now. I probably won't be seeing y'all again until around lunchtime. That's when I usually leave out. Um, not lunchtime, nap time. That's when I usually leave out to go um, do the inventory and stuff like that. Run to Staples. I can't really go to Lakeshore during the week. I have to do that on the weekends. But we don't really need anything from Lakeshore right now. That's where I usually get like their interactive toys and stuff like that from. But aside from that, like folders, um, pens, pencils, scissors, like paper, construction paper, things like that. I usually get that from Staples. So um, yeah, I'll show y'all that when I get there. And um, I'm supposed to be having a Keystone Stars meeting um, so we can talk about our Keystone Stars move up, um, work on some things with our quality coach, but I have to call her to see if I can still schedule that because she sent me an email and I think I missed um, the dates that she was available, so I'm going to see if she's available today so I can um, have that on film for y'all or whatever, but... Yeah, guys, I'll see y'all a little bit later. I'm on my way to the daycare now. Go outside. Big time forward. The star boy dancer. Get me to the game, no one replace me. Me love my energy, strip me no chaser. All of my guys know me, all of my paper. Me got me girls all around me, me no chaser. Yeah, star boy got me number one. Buy me two, drop the girls that bounce along. You know, let like nothing come between me and me paper. So when me come in, I place me on that take. Yeah, yeah. Guys, 
so I'm getting ready to do the um, Zoom meeting with our Keystone Stars um, quality coach. So I am about to just sign in so that I could be on time for the meeting. It's at 12.30 and right now it is 12.26. So let me sign in for that and I'm just going to let y'all um, kind of listen to the stuff that we are discussing. I know we have to go over our um, our staff handbook and our parent handbook. So there's probably something that I need to tweak on that um, before it's like good to go. So let me find where the meeting is. It is a yep. more of a lightweight material. Hello. Kind of a blended Hello. material. One second. Let me. Okay. Hi. Hi. How are you today? Good. How are you? Doing good. So I wanted to follow up with you on the uh, policy manuals um, that you sent me, just so that we could uh, discuss how we could update uh, some of the policies and procedures and start implementing them in preparation for moving you up to star three four. Okay. Is that the um the hand, the parent handbook or the staff? This is this. I had the staff, the staff. one in the. Right, and then I have this one, the parent and guardian handbook here. Okay. All right. So I just wrote on the front of each handbook the standards that you you met all the star two stuff for it. So I just wrote on um, the front mm -hmm. of each one the star three four standards that you would need to update just so that you could meet those standards. Okay. So I'm going to start with the staff policy manual. So we need one for LM 3.4.3. And that would be a teacher observation policy. So the requirement for STARS is that you observe your teachers twice a year mm -hmm. with an observation okay, form. So it doesn't have to be anything that you purchase. You can. Um, create a form or I have a form that, you know, I've been sending as an example to centers where they can just literally write their staff's name, the date of the observation, maybe even a time, mm -hmm. a blank sheet with space for you to write just anecdotal notes about what you see and hearing in the classroom, right. sign it, date it, the staff signs and dates it, and that counts as a teacher observation. And that was for LM... And does it also spell out um, what benefits count towards that or? So I actually had a training that we discussed like some of the benefits that we would count and not count. So, you know, those days off for those um, main holidays and stuff, those wouldn't count. But like if you had like a vacation package that you offered to your staff or if you had like um, health insurance, something that would, would be a perk, a perk to the staff, or maybe if you offered like a child care reduction or like maybe a percentage off of the tuition. Mm -hmm. The last one for the um, staff policy manual was uh, LM 3.4.8, and that was the staff break policy. So, you know, your staff, whatever, you know, break break policy you have in place, like everybody gets an hour break mm -hmm. or 15 minute breaks up in addition to the hour break, just write a couple sentences that states that we have a policy in place for our breaks and the staff are receiving the breaks and they are aware of the receipt of the breaks. And that's LM 3.4.8 yearly yeah. review and then 3.4.5 was the employee benefits, but I missed, um, the 3.4.3. That's the teacher observation policy. Okay. So that's just that quick paragraph on what you see your, your teacher doing in the classroom. Okay. And you said that one was, um, how often was that one? So, that's t so teacher observations would be twice a year. And the performance evaluation is once a year. Seven, seven, nine, zero. Okay. Okay. And then I went into your parent handbook, which was also great. So the policies needed for Star Three Four in your um, family handbook was to 
FC 3.4.2. This is the family conference policy. So those assessments that you do, so not the child service reports, you would have to look into getting an assessment for your um, center and I'll send you the list of approved assessment tool. Um, was the ages and stages included in that or no? No, so the ages and stages is more of a, a, of a screening okay. rather than an assessment. Okay. So, so I'll just put in parentheses that you're sending. Um, yep, I'll send you that approved list of um, assessment tools. Okay. And if you have any other questions, it really was going to be quick. Um, no. <laughs> no. Okay. I mean, if you come up with anything, just you can call me, you can email me, okay. however you want to do that. But yeah, basically getting, I'll send you like a, a follow-up email with, you know, little descriptors of each one just so that you know that. And then we'll just keep moving towards that. And I'll also send you uh, the approved list of assessment tools as well. Okay. okay. All right. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. You have a good one. Have a good day. Thank you. No problem. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna talk to you when I get outside because it's nap time for the kids. Alright guys, so I'm done with my meeting. That was like way um, quicker than I thought. I thought she was going to have a lot to say about our staff handbook. I knew our um, parent handbook was pretty solid, but I didn't really have that much confidence in our staff handbook. But she said it was really good, so... I was happy about that she did tell me what I had to fix basically to move up to the next star level so right now we're at a star level two there's four star levels um, well yeah for the Pennsylvania Keystone stars so there's four star levels we're on star two and I'm currently in the process of getting all the paperwork together so that we can move up to star three so um, once I submit the staff handbook and the parent handbook with the modifications that she just talked to me about then I'm going to see what else is um, required of us to move up to the next star level I mean we're pretty much there it's really just paperwork um, stuff that we have to get together so yeah that's good and um, right now I'm on my way to Staples I told y'all I had to do inventory today I know we need ink and we just need like um, some other small things so I'm on my way to Staples right now to get that stuff um, I'll probably get like some pens and stuff because I feel like we always running out of pens but construction paper I don't even create a list really because I'm there every day so I always know what we need just um, off the top or whatever that's just like a benefit of being there but I guess if you are you know trying to run a center and you don't plan on actually being present every day you can pop in probably like once or twice um, bi-weekly and just you know see what y'all need or you can have a manager um you can have somebody in charge of that or you could even give them the card if you want them to go shopping but this is how i do stuff um i'm there every day both me and vince are there every day so yeah we pretty much know what we need at all times but yeah guys i'm making a run to go get that stuff now um I might get us some lunch while we're out. It's nap time now, so this is when I do. We take turns, really. Like, some days I'll go out to get stuff done. Some days I don't go anywhere at all, but today I needed to get a lot of stuff done. So that's why I figured I would um, film for y'all today. But, yeah, I'm going to take y'all inside of staples i'm really happy with how the meeting went i thought it was going to be long and drawn out i really don't like zoom meetings i'll rather meet in person i just feel like zoom meetings are a little bit awkward and then you can hear um like the background noise of the person that you're talking to like they have headpieces in but you can still hear like the other people around them talking so i don't really like that but i mean things aren't 100 percent back to normal with this whole COVID stuff. Before COVID, they would actually come out to your center and it would make things a little bit easier too because whatever it is that you're missing in that moment, they'll let you know and you can just, um, if you can produce it right then and there or fix it while they're there, then they'll um, give you the credit for it 
that same day. But if not, you just have to send it in whenever you do have it and go from there. So sometimes it can make the process a little bit longer. But um, I can't complain. It's not that bad. But yeah, guys, I'll see y'all when I get to Staples. These are the folders that I usually get to um, put their homework in. I don't like the see-through ones. I don't know where the other colors of these are. I guess this is a uh, hair one. But like these ones right here, I don't like these. They just, they're not as sturdy as these ones. I'm going to get a few of these. Things that you always need in your preschool classroom. Glue. You can never have too much glue. And for some reason, whatever reason, they kill the glue sticks. So, I always rack up on extra glue sticks. I'm going to need like 10 glues. So, I tried to get the Staples brand. Um, I try to only get the Elmer's when it's on sale. Because I always have to buy so many. Um, I feel like this one, the staples, is usually a dollar. I'm not sure why it's one fifty nine. I feel like it went up, but yes, about to grab some stuff. Y'all want to know something that we never had for whatever reason? Tape. Grab one of these. All right, guys. So I'm gonna show y'all everything from staples. I'm staying late to show you all this stuff. I don't never stay late. So, you guys are welcome. <laughs> but anyways, I got um, folders, extra homework folders, because it seems that these always disappear. Um, I got pens. These are for me. I just really like writing um, outside of the daycare, too. I journal, and I'm just always writing. A lot of people write down stuff in their notes. Like, I know Vince does that, but I like to physically write stuff out. Like, even today, um, when I had the meeting with our Keystone Star Trek, she said she's going to email me everything, but I just like to write everything down because that helps to... Um, I don't know I feel like I just remember stuff better and it just like works better for my brain when I do it that way I don't know that's my logic but about these pens these are my favorite pens and I usually get this pack because it has all types of different colors so when I write stuff down I like to color code and my favorite colors to use in here is the pink and the purple I don't write in blank ink ever so just a fun fact about me I got glue sticks I did get the paint that I was telling you guys about, but um, when I do go to Lakeshore, I'm going to try to do like a weekend day in the life for y'all because um, some of the stuff I can't get from Staples and Lakeshore is far. Like there's one in KLP and um, there's one in Cherry Hill, but I can't really go there just on my lunch break. So, yeah. So I got construction paper because we run out of this pretty quick. Um, every age group uses this. So, yeah. Um, I got a bunch of glue because like I told y'all, we always need glue. Um, I got this stuff called Zep. It's a fabric and odor eliminator. So what I use this for is, um, in between like our rug cleanings and stuff like that, we don't really have any other soft surfaces, but in between our rug cleanings, I like to just spray this stuff so it can like kind of deodorize it and... Is this a disinfectant? It's an odor eliminator. It's not a disinfectant. So, yeah. But yeah, I like to spray this on there just to keep it fresh. Um, keep it smelling good in here. I got some markers for my preschoolers. They don't really like to use crayons that much. So, I usually buy them fresh markers every time I go to Staples. 
I got the tape because we don't never have tape. Like Vince is always looking for tape and we just never have it. So I got some tape. And then I got some printer ink. I think this is less than. Yeah, I got some printer ink because we are running low and I don't want to have to wait until we actually run out to go get some. And this stuff, when I this ink, when I got to the register, it was ringing up one price and the lady was like, do you want me to price match this for you? And I was like, yes please and she did it was part it took off like seven or eight dollars so i thought that was pretty nice because i didn't even ask her to do that so they gave me this um well she gave me her card so i'm gonna fill out the survey for her so she can um have her five stars and then if you guys do shop at staples like if you are um a business owner or if you buy a lot of office supplies at the bottom of your receipt there's usually let me see there's usually a coupon at the bottom of my receipt but I guess not this time but just double check y'all receipts to make sure that you're not throwing away a coupon because I usually get coupons for like 20% off or like I'll have $10 off of 50 or something like that and it comes in handy because I would buy a lot of stuff from there, so um, it's nice to have that discount. But I took all of the um, all of our bins from the cubby area, as you can see, somebody colored on there. So I cleaned them out and I wiped the shelves off. So I'm just getting ready to um, refill them. I'm about to get ready to put all this stuff away, and then I have to disinfect. So. I'm going to just hurry up and do that, and then I got to go home, hurry up and go to the gym, and um, get ready to go have dinner at my friend's house. So, yeah, I'm not going to show myself doing the um, disinfectant and stuff like that. It's really simple. You just have to sanitize all the toys, make sure they are in the solution. Um, I already swept and everything like that. I already organized everything, so I'm good. I'm getting ready to run out the door, and then I'll see y'all when I get home. So I just got to the gym. I'm about to sit in the sauna for probably like 10 to 15 minutes, and then I'm going to go downstairs. Um, Ooh, I'm, out of breath. I'm going to do a quick workout today. I'll probably do a little bit of cardio and then um, hopefully I could get some weights and I'll try to get some footage for y'all, but I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of people down there. I'm not um, recording it because I don't want them looking at me like I'm insane. But um, yeah, I'm about to get this on it now and then I will try to sneak and pop my camera up down there. But if not, I'll just, um, I don't know, do something else. But yeah, guys, I'm about to send this on now.